tell us why is this a special day today? Well, um, today is a special day, car. Uh, no, today's a special day because I think really we're going to get the um, the throne pretty much complete today. So it's something we've been working for for quite some time now. I mean, this is like the fourth week or so, isn't it? Yeah, just starting. Um, I'm really pleased with where we are and I mean today, like you say, it's going to be finished. What I have done since we last filmed is I went in on Saturday and put another coat of lacquer on the throne and oh my word, I mean it's, it's made such a difference. I mean the whole thing now almost glows at you, it's really, it really pops I suppose for want of a better expression. So probably a reasonably short day and then we're going to take a decision on whether or not we put another coat of lacquer on and I'm, I'm kind of siding with I think we will. What we're going to do today is we're going to get this fitted onto the throne um, but what I wanted to kind of talk to people about is these little guys. Well, I know these as drive screws, but wait, they're not a screw, they're a nail. Drive nails, these things are absolutely amazing. So we were going to use copper rivets. Yeah, they look good, I quite, I quite like that look. What do you think, camera boy? Do you like those? Yeah, fancy. Yeah, I like I like copper and steel. I think it works. They look quite they look cool. They look good. It looks a little bit unusual. You don't see a lot of copper stuff. Um, you know, in this kind of capacity. Um and anyway, then um I thought, well, hang on. Uh we've used kind of steel rivets everywhere else and let's just have a little look at this. These have been into the forge. Um, and I've tried to burn off the uh, galvanised finish, uh, safely mind though, I put the forge outside so I wasn't breathing the fumes. Um, give them a quick wire brush and they look, uh, yeah, quite like that. And the thing about these drive screws or drive nails is that once they're in, they are not coming out at all, they're a brilliant fixture. They seem to have fallen out of favour, I mean, you, you'd struggled. You went into your local kind of B&Q and showed them one of those and said, have you got a box of these? They turn around and go, I've never seen anything like that. Um, I think they used to be used in kind of like corrugated roofing and things like that. Um, and also to kind of like, probably from an industrial perspective, um, attaching hardware hardware to like tele telegraph poles and things like that because they generate, they particularly into hardwood, they kind of turn as they go into the hardwood like a screw um, and then there is no way that's ever coming out unless you literally cut into the timber and like lever it out. Um, I've looked online and uh, I think you can get them but people want silly money for them now so um, anyway. Uh, Enough chitter chat. I think what we'll do is we're just going to get on with it today. So we're going to take this out to the throne. We'll offer it up. We'll decide whether we're going to wire brush it. I think probably we should to match or in fact we're going to have to wire brush it. Um, and let, let's get this fitted. Let's decide, decide where it's going. Let's get it chopped in and let's get it fitted. Kind of, I'm feeling something maybe like that. What do you think? Fitting that nicely there. I'm looking for it to be relatively flat. That's nice and thick there as well. What do you think? I think it needs to be on the side rather than on the back. Do you think this side? Uh, I'm thinking this side because we've got yeah, all this iron work absolutely. here. Absolutely. Do you mind holding it and just letting have a little look? I like that there. Yeah? Yeah? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay, lovely now there. Ok, 
get Mark to just pop in here for you. Um, so we, you know, we saw we fumed this, but you can just see here how deep that fume goes. You know, we're probably about two or three mil in here. And you can just see as the, just here say, where we've kind of taken a cut through. The fuming seems to kind of go penetrate about two mil or so. So it kind of really, like I was saying earlier, it doesn't get right into the timber. Um, it just kind of, you know, it's a surface treatment as such. But what an effect it's had here. I mean, it's really, particularly inside because there's more tannin in the heartwood. You know, out here, this, this is sapwood essentially, and this hasn't got uh, the tannin in it too dark enough. But inside, I mean, it's gone, it's gone like a conquer. It looks absolutely brilliant. Anyway, let's keep going. Just catching somewhere. Letting steel things in is quite cool because the steel marks the oak where it's catching. We're getting there now. There we go, nicely set in. down there. Yeah. Um, the thing about drive screws is that you always need um, you know a big enough hammer to get them in. No, only teasing. <laughs> Can you see did you see them turn as they go in? The idea was I wasn't going to go overboard with the welding. I didn't want to do, not a case of too much, I wanted to do as little welding as possible on these. But what we've realised is that we actually like this look. So what we are going to do is a couple round here. We just went a little bit light on the welding. You can just see here and here. So we'll pull the welder out, we'll get those welded up and we'll get them ground off. Um, and then at that point, bang, done. eventually got focus. Oh good, good. Well, well done camera boy. So it wants to sit in here for about a minute. Then at that point we kind of drop it into the blacking solution. I don't know how Mark's going to film this but here we go. That has been in the solution now for kind of like, oh probably less than a minute. Let's have a look at that. We got a little reaction there. I think we have. But let's just reapply. Achieve exactly what we're after. And I'm just painting it on there, just get a little bit on the... I mean that, you can see it kind of reacting straight away. down for a long stretch and then when we were in prison we got a bum stretch Game. 
All the bitches that said it could never be done. You can't carve a throne out of oak, a single piece of oak. Are you f***ing loco? <laughs>